In the old days, you had two basic choices when it came to pizza. Either you bought a frozen pie, or you called up your nearby pizzeria to get something more freshly tossed. Then the take-and-bake revolution arrived and changed the face of pizza forever. Papa Murphy's built an empire with take-and-bake pizzas. According to the company's website, it's now the fifth-largest pizza franchise in the world, with more than 1,200 locations. Naturally, seeing the success of this business model prompted several other companies to begin offering their own take-and-bake products. Walmart added selections under its Market Side brand, and Costco did the same under its Kirkland banner. I'm in love. I'm having a relationship with my pizza. Unfortunately, it looks like Costco's options may have gone the way of the dodo bird, leaving people searching for answers as to why. Since Costco has yet to explain the decision to discontinue its pizza, an investigation has become necessary. These are the most likely reasons that the company has abandoned its take-and-bake pizza. For one, social media is not always the kindest place. People use their anonymity as a shield for brutal honesty. One of the things they have not been holding back on is how bad they believed Costco's take-and-bake pizza was. On the Costco subreddit, one dissatisfied commenter wrote, Take and baked were not good anyway. Bought one, and it was the only one I ever got. In another thread, someone compared Costco's food court pizza with the take and bake alternative. They said, One is good for kids' birthdays, feeding folks who helped you move, and for bribing husbands to go to Costco with you. The other you have to bake at home, then throw in the trash because it's disgusting. There are a couple of things one could take away from this. The first is that people downright hated Costco's take and bake pizzas, and that's why the company stripped them from the shelves. The second is that Costco might merely be trying to get people to join the cult of the food court by pushing them to get their pizza only from there. If complaints and lackluster sales were the issue, then that leads to the next possible reason Costco is leaving the take-and-bake pizza party. It wasn't selling. Costco would never remove one of its best-selling items, even if it wasn't good. What the company would do, however, is remove something that was not meeting sales goals. Costco has a very aggressive sales strategy, and it does not waste real estate in its stores on products that do not fly off the shelves. Thus, even if something is beloved by some, it still might not move well enough to justify stocking it. According to Costco's 10K report, the chain limits specific items in each product line to those that sell quickly. If something just sits on the pallets, the company will cut that item to make room for other goods. According to the Fool's numbers, Costco has approximately 4,000 different items on its shelves, while a standard Target has closer to 80,000, and the average Walmart carries 150,000. That means there is no wasted space inside Costco, only room for the absolute best sellers. Sales and profit might not be what is behind this pizza extinction, though. There could be something else at play here. When the combo pizza was discontinued from the food court, one Twitter user went after the company posting, Who at Costco was like, yeah, let's get rid of the combo pizza? Thousands retweeted, but many also offered potential explanations. One commenter cited pandemic-related supply chain issues as a potential source of blame for the combo pizza's disappearance. This is feasible, given that the White House has said that supply chain disruptions were, quote, significant and widespread in June 2021. Prices may also be a factor. AOL reports there are global food shortages, with Al Jazeera attributing that in part to the war between Russia and Ukraine, two major exporters of wheat. Wheat is often used in pizza dough, so a shortage could have caused prices to rise, forcing Costco to put products on hold until prices drop once again. At the moment, there's nothing but theory to be had. What is known is that, according to a Reddit thread from 2020, Costco has discontinued take-and-bake pizza in the past, and it eventually made a comeback.